Interpol's anti-corruption unit plays an essential role for our 190 member countries in the area of anti-corruption, crimes in sports, and asset recovery. As a response to the internalization of asset movement, Interpol hosts the Global Focal Point Platform as a network of anti-corruption and asset recovery practitioners. The Global Focal Point Platform does not replace the mutual legal assistant but it's just an instrument to facilitate the sharing of sensitive information among the anti-corruption experts. As per today, more than 100 Interpol member countries and more than 200 focal points have joined the initiative. Furthermore, the anti-corruption unit actively supports capacity building in the framework of the global program on anti-corruption, financial crime and asset recovery. The program was launched in 2012 and has led to the training of over 600 anti-corruption investigators and prosecutors. The knowledge that have been gained from these our global programs by participants have been shared with other investigators and officials in their home agencies and countries. And these have translated into improved coordination of anti-corruption investigations and resultant recovery of stolen assets. Taking financial resources away from criminals is a main tool to sustainably fight organized criminal networks. But the seizure of assets can be very challenging for investigators as technological development and innovation facilitates the moving of financial assets around the globe. In the modern era, corruption of financial crimes are interwoven. In almost every corruption investigation, there's some aspect of financial crimes, such as money laundering. Following the flow of illicit funds and eventually seizing those funds is critical in suppressing any criminal network. These crimes are committed in a syndicated, sophisticated and transnational manner. In some cases, the victims are deceived to disclose their personal data, which will eventually lead to financial loss. Financial Crimes Unit will continue working hand in hand with all member countries to fight against transnational social engineering fraud. One of the major aspects of almost every criminal network is the ability to mask the suspect's true identity, whether that's counterfeiting security documents or other means. The Counterfeit Currency and Security Documents branch provides forensic and operational support to law enforcement agencies investigating counterfeit currency and document fraud. One important initiative is Project S-Print that brings together the law enforcement community and security printing industry. The goal of Project S-Print is to prevent organized criminal networks from sourcing the equipment and materials that could be misused for counterfeiting. In addition, a major part of the anti-corruption unit works on protecting the integrity of sports. One focus is on match fixing and another focus on performance enhancing drugs, generally known as doping. Today, Interpol remains the only international law enforcement organization dealing specifically with doping of both professional athletes and amateurs. It's about protecting the integrity of public authorities, the private sector, and sports competition. It therefore aims at protecting the trust in the societies of Interpol's member countries.